Uh, I was asked how difficult it was to change the starter on my Bentley, uh, the green label. <clears throat> and I've only just got round to doing it, actually. Uh, yes, you can do it. It's very tight. And you're limited um, as to what you can use tool-wise. <clears throat> um, this, this is an X5 starter. Um, but it's similar. Um, you, you can see roughly where everything is on this one. Um, you have this cover over the starter motor itself. And the only thing I can uh, add to that, uh, you can take that off uh, once the th uh, thing is loosened. And you can actually get it back on if you want to as well. Uh, once the starter is actually in position, the only thing I would suggest is that the that you check that those nuts are nice and free because it's in a very awkward position when it's in uh, when the starter's bolted up. And uh, I didn't do that, so one of them was a real pain to do up. It took forever. <coughs> so I found that the only tool I could use was a thirteen mil. Uh, ring spanner to remove the, the two main bolts which are here and here there and there once you've got those free you can pull the whole thing back remove this cover uh, and then take off the connectors which are just here um, you have to take off the uh, the, the big connector um, before this will drop out. So use a, you can use a socket on that one uh, to just undo that, prise the connector off. And um, once you've done that, the whole thing will pull forward and you can get to these little connectors there, uh, the 12 volt connectors, and the whole thing becomes more straightforward. Um, you pull it out and then slide that part up, take all the bits and pieces off and drop it through the hole that end first. Similarly, when you're putting it back in, you have to shove it up through a very small hole and then swing it round and then you will locate it. So basically, that's all you need. Everything that's in front of you will do the job. Um, a short socket is essential, really, um, if, if you, you know, to make life somewhat easier. Um, I used a manual one to, to do those when, when it was in position. Absolute pain to do, but you just have to take your time. So, yes, you can do it. Uh, obviously, it's only on ramps, and I managed it. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Uh... Another job I did, if we can see, is change one of the lambda sensors, which is just there. Uh, so there's a lambda sensor, the front one and a rear one, both ends of the cat. <clears throat> I changed, I put a new one on there. That's the easiest one I've ever done. <laughs> it was so easy to get to, came off easily, went back in easily, no problem. So if we slide under the car, I can show you roughly where everything is. Right. It's rather hard to find everything, but... Uh, there's the exhaust system. You don't have to touch the exhaust system at all. You can get round everything just about. Uh, that's the back end of the starter motor there. Now, the connections on the Bentley are diabolical. The X5 comes with uh, extended wires 
um, heat proof ones that are shrouded. So I've used those and uh, made the connections a lot longer. It makes life so much easier. Um, doesn't look very pleasant under that connect uh, uh, under all this, but I can assure you it's well insulated and it will all cut off easily. And the connections are bolted, so it's a piece of cake for the future if I ever need to do it. So coming back to this side, there's one of the bolts where my finger is, if you can see it, just there. And there's one above. Now they are rather tricky to get to. Uh, as I say, I, I used a ring spanner and had to lever that spanner to get enough purchase to slacken them. Um, but once slackened, you can get a, a short socket on the top one, but not the bottom one. You have to fight that one out. That's this one. That's the worst of the two. So once those two are out, the whole thing... Let's go back here. That whole thing slides back. Once you've done that, you can take this cover off. There's three bolts for that. Um, then you can disconnect the uh, electrical connections. I mean, th this was my choice. You, you can fight with the, the Bentley ones if you want. Uh, once you've done that, remove that sh shroud there and the three connectors. The whole thing comes out pretty easily through that little gap. So that's, that's all you've got here. That's your gap. So just remember to take the starter out drive end first so the drive end comes out through here and you push it back in the same way and then once you've got it in you can fiddle it around in this gap and 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 that will do the job so you can see you don't actually need to remove anything at all um, i've extended the cabling but you know you don't have to if you want to fight with uh very short connections you can but as I say, that one of the starters came with these special uh, heat-proof cables and I, I decided to keep them and just connect them up to the existing connections on the Bentley chassis. Uh, so there it is. It's in position. I've done a test. Everything works beautifully. So uh, there you go. It can be done. You don't need to take anything off.